very good evening hi good evening good evening teacher how are you i'm fine uh, very good thank you natalie hi hi jacqueline are you there Oh, Jocelyn too, right? And Nancy, all right. Just let me go for my headphones quickly. Solo déjenme ir por los audífonos rápido, que los he, los he olvidado. Just let me go quickly. I'm back. Estoy de regreso. I'm back. <laughs> All right. So how was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo el fin de semana? How was your weekend? Good, bad, excellent, amazing. How was your weekend? ¿Cómo estuvo su fin de semana? How was your weekend? Very good. Con very well. Oh, nice. Amazing. amazing. <laughs> it was amazing, Nancy. And very good with very well, says David, right? <laughs> I like that expression. Excellent. excellent. <laughs> All right. Okay, we are about to start. Vamos a empezar exactamente a las ocho. We are about to start. So we are, let me see, where, yeah, half is connected now. La mitad están conectados. Half is connected right now. Okay, so good, good evening again. <laughs> Uh, we are going good to evening, sir. all right good evening so we are going to to start we will start in this moment um well you know today we have unit number two right today we have unit number two we study one unit every week okay estudiamos una unidad cada cada semana one unit every week all right so for today we have unit number two and unit number two for today is daily routines daily routines or rutinas diarias daily routines for example i take a shower in the morning you can say it's a routine right i take a shower in the morning or you can say i get up early me levanto temprano i get up early or maybe you can say i eat i eat Fried beans in the morning, right? I eat fried beans in the morning. So for this unit, we have daily routines, rutinas diarias. We have daily routines. Okay, perfect. But we will do some exercises about last week. Pero vamos a hacer algunas, algunos ejercicios de la semana pasada para recordar, just to remember, just to recall, okay? Uh, okay, before that, I will pass the attendance, pero primero para que ya no haya interrupciones, le pasaré la asistencia, okay? Okay, let's see, um, Ana Abigail. I'm here. Brenda y Anina. I'm here. Edgar Alexander. I'm here. Ember Giovanni. I'm here. Hazel Saraí. Hazel Sarai, she's not connected. Okay, Jacqueline Lisset. I'm here. All right, thank you. Jefferson. 
I hear teacher. Jennifer Jamilet. I'm here, teacher. Jessica Lourdes. Juan Carlos. Here, I'm here. Perfect. Loida Eunice. Loida. Me pareció ver a Loida Eunice por ahí conectada. Yes, right, Lo Loida Rodríguez. I'm here. All right. Thank you. Um, well, Luis Alejandro dijo que iba a estar conectado también, pero solo en audio. Solo... Ok, ok. Thank you. Luis Ricardo. I'm here, teacher. Perfect. María Elena. I'm here, teacher. Good. Uh, Nancy Yvet. I'm here. Great. Roxana y Amilet. Oh, Nelson first. Nelson. Nelson. I am here. Perfect. Roxana. <clears throat> Roxana. She's not connected yet. Wendy Natalie. I am here. Cool. Yesenia Marisol. Yesenia Marisol. Okay, she's not connected yet. And Jocelyn Joanna. I'm here. Cool. Okay, thank you very much. Muchas gracias. Thank you very much. So please, look, uh, just to remember, uh, last week we studied possessive adjectives and possessive nouns, all right? And in the possessive adjectives, we have my, your, his, her, it's, your, our, and their. These are possessive adjectives, okay? And normally after, after possessive adjectives, we use a noun. Después de los adjetivos possessivos, usamos un sustantivo o un nombre, a noun. For example, my car, your bicycle, my house, or our teacher, you can say our teacher, their clothes, their shirt, okay? Um, my book, my class, or you can say our class, our English class, or you can say um, what? It's, it's house, okay? So uh, we use uh, a noun, usamos un sustantivo, just remember that. And the other thing we started was possessive nouns. Y lo otro que estudiamos fue possessive nouns, que usamos el apóstrofe y la S. Do you remember? For example, if I don't want to say, si yo no quiero decir, if I don't want to say, la casa de Abigail, the house of Abigail, voy a decir Abigail's house, con el apóstrofe S, right? Abigail's house, apóstrofe S, Abigail's, okay? Yeah, if I don't want to say, si yo no quiero decir, um, let me see, la computadora de Jacqueline or the computer of Jacqueline, I will say Jacqueline's computer. Yeah, just to refresh, solo para refrescar un poquito, solo para recordar un poquito. Okay, perfect. But in this moment, I want you to look at your classmates' shirts. Quiero que vean a la camisa de sus compañeros. Así que en ese momento, eh, quiero que se queden en, en un perfil de tal manera que se les mire la camisa, así como yo estoy ahorita, ¿ok? Se, se mira el color de mi camisa. I, I can, you can see the color of my, of my shirt. Yeah? Ok, oh, let yeah, me see. Yeah. yeah. So, let me see. Ricardo's shirt is black. Abby, Abigail's shirt is white. Y si no andan camisa, vayan a ponerse una rápido, ¿ok? <laughs> for, for the boys. All right, let me see. Uh, Nancy Yvette's shirt is, let me see, gray, right? Gris, okay, gray. Uh, Brenda's shirt is green, turquoise, red, and different colors, right? Yeah. <laughs> Jefferson's, listen to my example. Jefferson's shirt, Jefferson's shirt, okay? Possessive noun, right? Jefferson's shirt is brown, is brown, okay? Jennifer's Blouse or shirt is gray. I think it's gray or black. Gray, right? Gray, Jennifer. 
It's great. Yes, right. it's great. It's great. Perfect. Juan Carlos' shirt is white or yellow? Juan Carlos? Beige. Beige. Be ah, beige. Beige. All right. Jacqueline's shirt is red. Jocelyn's shirt is pink. Wendy Natalie's shirt or blouse is purple. Purple, purple, all right? And so on, all right? So the idea is that you look at your uh, classmates shirt color. La idea es que miren el color de la camisa de su compañero. So you give me examples. Yo le voy a dar un ejemplo como el siguiente. Now listen. Y luego ustedes me van a dar ejemplos. Siguiendo mi estructura. Following my structure. Following my, the example I will give you, okay? Good. So uh, using possessives. Now listen, listen to my example. It's about anybody from the class. Va a ser acerca de alguien de la clase. Okay, I will say Jacqueline. Listen. Jacqueline's blouse is red. Her blouse is red. I will repeat it. ¿Por qué uso hair? Porque hair se refiere a su de ella. Si es su de él, voy a decir his. All right? El possessivo. I will repeat my example. Um, Jacqueline's shirt is red. Her shirt is red. All right? Another example. Another example. Oh, let me see. Maria, all right? Maria's blouse is black. Maria's blouse is black. Her blouse is black. All right? Now let's see Luis Ricardo, okay? I can say, um, Ricardo's shirt is black. His, 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 su de él, his, his shirt is black, all right? And one last example, un último ejemplo para preguntarles a algunos de ustedes, all right? One last example. Jefferson's shirt is brown. Jefferson's shirt is brown. His, his shirt is brown, all right? So are you ready? Estamos listos? Are you ready? Yeah? Yes. Okay, perfect. All right, let me see. Uh, I will think of a letter. Voy a pensar en una letra. I will think of a letter. Letter F. Letter F. Letra F. Letter F. Let me see if I have somebody with letter F. Quiero ver si tengo alguien con letra F. No? Nobody? Okay. Let's see letter... M, letter M, letter M, a name with letter M, un nombre con letra M. Let me see, let me check, let me check quickly. A name with letter M. Nobody. Nobody, really? I think there's one, there must be one. Maria Elena. <laughs> so Maria Elena, are you ready? I think so. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Adelante. We'll listen to you. Um, Jocelyn's shirt is pink. Her shirt is pink. Very good. That's excellent. I like it. Very good. That's amazing. Very good. Okay. Uh, now let's see. Maria Elena, select somebody, please, from the group. Elige alguien. Select somebody from the group. Um, Nelson Gabarrete. All right, Nelson. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tengo que decir primero mi camisa o la de alguien? No, somebody's, la de alguien, somebody's shirt. Ah, okay. Eh... eh Camisa de Jocelyn sería. Okay, Jocelyn. All right, go ahead. Adelante, go ahead. Chair is color is pink. Pink. All right. Okay. Pues tengo que hacer la mía. O... No, no, no. Okay, listen. L listen to more examples. Escuch, escuch algo otros ejemplos y luego vamos a regresar. Okay, okay, pay attention right now, please. Okay, Jennifer, can you give us one example? Please. 
is um, uh, I don't know if if is correct, but Bernardo's shirt is blue sky. His shirt is blue sky. Okay, repeat the example, please. Bernardo's shirt is blue sky. His shirt is blue sky. Yeah, that's okay. All right. That's okay. It's fine. All right. Or you can say maybe um, light blue, which is a which is a soft color too. Okay, light blue. Okay, it can be too. Okay, thank you, Jennifer. To someone, please. So pay attention, please, Nelson. You will do it later, Nelson. Tú lo harás después. Jennifer, select okay. someone, please. Select someone. From Brenda Yanira. Okay, Brenda. We listen to you, Brenda. <laughs> okay. Um, hey, Hazel's shirt is red. Her shirt is red. Oh, that's awesome. Very good. Thank you very much. Brenda, select someone. Elige alguien. Select someone. Nancy. All right, Nancy, your turn. Yeah, okay. When this cloth is purple. It's purple. Maybe you can say purple. Maybe you can say blouse. When this blouse. Blouse. Me llena acento, soy asesina. Okay. Okay, when this blouse is purple. Okay, go ahead. When this cloth is purple. Okay, now the this other way. Cloth is purple. Repeat it, please. This cloth is purple. Yeah. Cheese cloth is purple. Okay. Cheese or hair? Porque Cheese. estamos con. Estamos con los possessives. She es el pronombre. She is the pronoun. Okay. And hair es el pronombre ah. posesivo, que es el que necesitamos. So you say hair clothes or hair blouse in this ah, case. Clothes is purple. Okay, perfect. Okay. Hair clothes, hair blouse, you can say. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Nancy. Okay. Nelson, are you ready? Okay. Vamos a ver ahora con la camisa de Jennifer. All right. <laughs> is color black. Her shirt is color black. Okay, very good. Her shirt, you don't need to say color. You only say the color, okay? Her shirt is black. That's it, solo eso. Her shirt okay. is black. You don't say color black. You say only black. Her shirt okay. is black, okay? Jennifer's okay. shirt is Black. Black. Yeah. Okay, okay. Thank you. Thank you, Nelson. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you for your participations. Okay. Thank you very much for your participations. And now, um, well, I told you, right, the unit for today is daily routines or rutinas diarias. Okay. Good. Now I have some questions for you about your family. These questions are about your family. All right. So you say, Yes, he is. Yes, she is. No, he isn't. No, she isn't. All right. Okay, let's see. Um, let's see. Hazel Sarai. Hazel Sarai. Okay. Um, is is your mother mother a salesperson? No, she isn't. No, she isn't. Thank, Thank you very much. Thank you. All right, let's see. Right, Yesenia. Do you have sisters, Yesenia? Sisters? Yesenia, hello. Do you have sisters? Yes. Yes, okay. Now, Yesenia, uh, is your sister uh, a manager? No, I am not. No, I am not, no. or no, she isn't? No, no, she isn't. No, she isn't. Very good. Thank you very much. All right, let's see. Um, let's see here. Mm -mm. Juan Carlos. Juan Carlos. Um, Hello. Let, let's speak about a colleague, un colega, a colleague, okay? Colleague. All right, Juan Carlos. Is your colleague, um, let me see, a floor manager? 
Is your colleague a floor manager? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. is. Very good. It's excellent. Okay, it's perfect. Ember, Ember, are you there? Hi, Ember. Hi. Okay, perfect. Okay, Ember, uh, let's speak about brothers. Do you have brothers? Yes. Yes, okay, perfect. Is your brother a supervisor? Yes, he is. Yes, he is. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much for your participations. Okay, now we are going to go to, to topic. Now let's go to the topic. Ahora sí, después de un pequeño repaso, así práctico, let's go to the real topic for today. And for today, we have the simple present. Affirmative and negative sentences. Probablemente muchos saben de ese tema. Probably you know about the topic, okay? But we will study the topic today. All right. Uh, for, for the first activity, for a moment, think, think, think about job positions at your company. Job positions at your company. Okay? <coughs> Write three positions at your company. For example, I, I don't work at a company. I work at a school. Yo trabajo en una escuela. I work at a school. So, three positions in my school. Number one, science teacher. Number two, principal. Number three, janitor. So, three job positions in my school. But probably you work in a company. Probablemente usted trabaja en una compañía. So, the job positions are different. Okay? So, please, write three job positions in one activity for every job position. Van a escribir tres posiciones de trabajo y una actividad para cada posición. For example, imagine I write principal. Imagínense que yo escribo director, principal. Ah, ¿y cuál es una actividad que realiza el director? Ah, principal, check email every day. Check email every day. All right? Janitor. For example, janitor, clean the school three times a week or clean the school every day, for example, or clean the school only or solo clean the school, right? Yeah. Science teacher, science teacher, give classes, dar classes, give classes. Yeah, is it clear what you have to do? Está claro qué es lo que tienen que hacer o hay alguna duda? No? So three job positions and one activity for every job position, okay? On your notebook, en su cuaderno, okay? Go ahead. I give you around four or five minutes, okay? De cuatro a cinco minutos. Go ahead. Adelante. Si tienen dudas, pueden preguntar. If you have doubts, you can ask. Teacher, una pregunta. Yes. Eh, vamos a escribir eh, como el rubro de donde trabajamos. Algo así, okay. le entendí. No, no. Eh, como primero dijo usted, vaya, escuela, de ahí dijo eh, alguna compañía, dijo. Entonces, pero era solo como un ejemplo para diferenciar, nada yes. más. Pero yes. lo que vamos a hacer, nada más, es poner tres puestos de trabajo y actividades que realiza cada puesto de yes. trabajo. One activity per job position. Una actividad para cada posición de trabajo. ¿Ok? I, okay, I said gracias. school, yo dije escuela porque yo no trabajo en una compañía, yo trabajo en una escuela, right? I work at a school, all right? Pero posiblemente ustedes trabajan en una compañía o en una fábrica, okay? So it depends on the place you work, okay. yeah? Okay, thanks. All right, no problem. If you have questions, don't hesitate to ask, okay?
Teacher, ¿cómo yeah. se dice nanita? How do you say? Na, how do you say nanita? Nanita, the one who takes care of babies. La que cuida a los bebés. Mm -hmm. you, say, yes. you say babysitter. Baby. Ah, okay, okay. I remember. Baby. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, no problem. Just one quick reminder, don't forget your cameras need to be on, all right? Que no se les olvide siempre que las cámaras deben estar encendidas. Your cameras need to be on. So please, don't forget, que no se les olvide. Don't forget. Except Luis Alejandro, right? Solo Luis Alejandro que él pidió permiso para estar solo de oyente este día. Then the rest, please, you need your cameras on. Teacher, me estoy metiendo al traductor para decir que se me apaga la cámara. Ah, ok. No problem. It's ok. Thank you. It's ok. Go ahead. Adelante. Go ahead. Gracias. Yeah, it's ok. All right, I'll give you one more minute, all right? I'll give you one minute. So in one minute, we share.
Okay, uh, can you please stop everyone? If you have two, it's okay, no problem, okay? One, two, three, it's okay, no problem, all right? But please stop for a moment, stop, stop, all right? What you have, it's okay. Lo que tienen está bien, what you have, it's okay. All right, so uh, in this moment, uh, it's time to share. It's time to, to share. Es hora de compartir, it's time to share. Okay, good. So I want you to share one job position and one activity at your company, okay? I repeat, one job position and one activity at your company. So please, volunteers. One job position and one activity. Okay, let's see Luis Ricardo. Uh, supervisor. Yeah. Uh, the supervisor check production process. Oh, perfect, checks production. Process, very good, thank you very much. All right, so any other volunteer, volunteers? Volunteers? Okay, let's see Jessica. Okay. Um, administrator. Administrator review budget. Okay, very good, it's excellent. Builds budgets, good, that's amazing, excellent. All right, somebody else, any other volunteer? All right, let's see Abigail. Uh, receptionist. Yeah. Answer call. Answer calls. Call. Excellent. Answer. You say answer. 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 Answer, answer call. calls. Answer calls. Very good. Call. Calls. Calls. Okay. Excellent. That's very good. Abigail. Any other volunteer? Okay. Let's see Brenda. And then Wendy. And then Edgar. Okay. Brenda, Wendy, Edgar. Okay. Engineer, yeah. he picks the machine. Oh, that's excellent. That's very good. Thank you very much, Wendy. Uh, principal check class every day. Oh, perfect. That's amazing. Thank you very much, Natalie. Edgar. Uh, general manager. Yeah. Program activity. Programs activities. Good. That's excellent. All right. Thank you for your participation. That's Awesome, okay, that's awesome. Thank you, so any other participation? The last one, la ultima, the last participation for this activity? Okay, Loida, oh my God, and I have Juan Carlos, Loida and then Juan Carlos, it's okay. Okay, baby city, take care of the children. Takes care of children, excellent, that's very good. Okay, let's see Juan Carlos. The janitor clean in the morning. Cleans in the morning, very good. Thank you very much, all right. So um, basically we have job positions and activities they do, right? Activities they do. So thank you very much. Your participations are very important for me, right? So thank you for your participations. And now let's go to the next activity. Uh, in the next activity, I will share some job positions with you, okay? So check this job, oh, before, antes de que vayamos a la siguiente actividad y antes de que lo, lo olvide, right? Before I forget. Vaya, um, si recuerdan, eh, les, 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 les mencioné de que ahora las, eh, las sesiones privadas se van a manejar todos los días, de 10 a 10 y 10, okay? Yes, así que para el día de hoy, en las sesiones privadas, Les voy a compartir aquí pantalla para que puedan ver el orden que llevamos en la semana. Si alguien no puede, me lo hace saber, por favor, ¿ok? Y vemos qué, qué cambio hacemos. Ok, de acuerdo al calendario que tenemos en las sesiones eh, privadas para este día, veamos acá, 8, ¿verdad? Para este día tenemos a Edgar Alexander Cruz. So, ¿Puedes, Edgar? ¿Can you? Yeah. Ya. Yeah. Ya. Ok, para mañana tenemos a Jessica Lourdes. ¿Me confirma? Confirm, please. Sí, sí. Yes. Sí. For Wednesday, María Elena. Para miércoles, María Elena. ¿Es ok? It's ok. Ok, for Thursday, jueves, Thursday, we have Ember Giovanni. ¿Es ok for you, Ember? Ember, are you there? Me parece que estaba conectado, Ember. Okay, and for Friday, we have Jacqueline. Jacqueline? Yes, I'm okay. Okay, Amber said okay too. All right, so thank you very much, okay? 
Uh, so that, that's the calendar for this week. Ese es el calendario para esta semana. That's the calendar for this week. Okay, from 10 to 10, 10. De las 10 a 10, sí. De las 10, perdón, a las 10 y 10. All right. Now uh, let's go to the, to the vocabulary. So look, in the vocabulary, I have some job positions, okay? I have some job positions. And in these positions, I have... Can you see the job positions? Pueden verlas? Can you see the job positions? Yes. Okay. In number one, we have, or letter A, sorry, we have bookkeeper. Bookkeeper. In letter B, we have financial analyst. Financial analyst. In letter C, human resource specialist. Human resource specialist. In letter D, digital marketing manager. Digital marketing manager. In letter E, insurance agent, insurance agent. And in letter F, software, software engineer, software engineer. Okay, good. Now, activate your microphones and let's repeat. Activemos los micrófonos y repitamos. And let's repeat. Are you ready? Yes. Okay, let's go. Okay. Yes, teacher. Okay, let's do it. Bookkeeper. 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 Financial analyst. Financial analyst. Financial analyst. Financial analyst. Human resource specialist. Human resource specialist. Human resource specialist. Human resource specialist. Digital marketing manager. Digital marketing manager. Manager. Digital marketing manager. Digital manager. Manager. Insurance agent. Insurance agent. Insurance agent. Insurance agent. Software software engineer. Software engineer. Software engineer. Software engineer. Software engineer. Okay, now you can turn off your microphones. Ahora sí pueden apagar los micrófonos. You can turn off the microphones, please. All right, so as you can see here, we have different vocabulary. We have bookkeeper, financial analyst, human resource specialist, digital marketing manager, insurance agent, and software engineer. All right, now, uh, what is any idea about what bookkeeper means? What does it mean, bookkeeper? ¿Qué significa? What does it mean, bookkeeper? Contador. Bibliotecario. Bibliotecario. Mm. Okay, actually, bookkeeper is contador. Bookkeeper ah. is contador in Spanish. Yeah, it's the one who contador. keeps the, yeah, the finance. That's right. It's like accountant. Okay. Financial analyst. Analyst. Analyst financiero. Exactly. Analyst financiero. Human resource Human. specialist. Specialist. Recursos humanos. Especialista en recursos humanos. Recursos humanos. Exacto. Digital marketing manager. Gerente del mercadeo digital. Exacto. Gerente de mercadeo digital. Exacto. So digital marketing manager. Gerente de mercadeo digital. Ok. Letter I. Insurance agent. Agente de seguros. Agente de seguros. Ok. En el last one. Software engineer. Ingeniero de sistemas. Hay mucha interferencia. Casi no lo voy a escuchar. Sí, soy una tele bien fuerte. Te escucho un eco. Hagamos. Hagamos una cosa para que no nos pase. Es, ahorita solo iba a terminar la actividad y le iba a decir algo al respecto. ¿okay? Vale, hagamos algo. Eh, yo entiendo que a veces en su casa hay más personas como ustedes. And that's okay. All right. Y a veces varios quieren estar haciendo bastantes cosas. ¿verdad? Entonces eh, lo que podemos hacer es ser conscientes. ¿verdad? Si alguien, por ejemplo, 
en su casa siente que alguien tiene el tele bien alto, tal vez no decirle que le baje, pero en ese momento tal vez no, no encender el micrófono de, de la persona que está, que está con, donde hay una televiso, una, un, un televisor con volumen alto para que no haya interferencia, ¿ok? O es algún otro ruido, o el perrito ladrando bastante, apagar el micrófono y siempre seguir repitiendo, no hay ningún problema, ¿ok? There's no problem. So if, si no lo encienden por esa razón el micrófono en el momento de repetir, yo, yo voy a comprender perfectamente, no se preocupen, ¿ok? Don't worry about that. Para que no haya interferencia, ¿ya? Yeah? Please, por favor, please. Ok, now listen. Uh, in this moment, um, I will share some vocabulary with you. Antes de que completemos, porque aquí vamos a bajar estas palabras, las vamos a poner en cada definición. But before that, antes de eso, before that, I want to share um, some vocabulary with you. I want to share some vocabulary with, with you. Ok, so the first word, la primera palabra que quiero que vean es la siguiente. The first word I want you to see is the following. La primera palabra que quiero que vean es la, la siguiente. Is the next. Ok, let me see here. Um, I want you to, 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 to look at this. Keep, keep track of, for example, keep track of the package. I keep track of the package. Keep track of, what is that? ¿Qué es eso? What is that? Keep track of. Any idea? Okay, uh, keep track of is seguir la pista de, o rastrear. Okay, keep track of the package, rastrear el paquete. Keep track of the package, all right? Keep track of, yeah? Rastrear o seguir la pista de algo. Okay, keep track of. That's word number one, esa es la número uno. Then we have the second. The second one is policies. What is policies? Políticas. Políticas. Don't get confused. No se me van a confundir. It's not policías. Okay. Policies is políticas. The policies of the company. Las políticas de la empresa. The policies of the company. Okay. So policies is políticas. Number three. Number three is no. What is no? I know. I don't know. Saber. 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 Saber o conocer, right? No, es saber o conocer. Conocer. O conocer, that's right. So we have three words. Keep track of, rastrear o seguir la pista. Policies, políticas. And no, es saber o conocer. Okay, let's see another word. Otra palabra, let's see another word. This is common. What is employees? Empleado. What is employees? Yeah. Empleados. 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 That's right. So, That's employees, right. employees is empleados. empleados. So, you say so you employees, say employees of, the of the company. Yeah? Yeah. All right. All right. Ese es el plural. Yes. Yes. In singular, In singular you, say you say employee. 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 Okay, next. Okay, next. Management. Management. What is management? What is management? Yes. Gerencia. 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 You can say maybe, maybe, maybe management, management is, is gestión. Tal vez. Tal vez. Creo que hay alguien Creo que, que hay tiene encendido dos dispositivos y como que el eco suena. Tal vez apagan los dispositivos, dispositivos para que no suene el eco. Okay. okay, so, uh, so uh, management, management is manejo, manejo or it can or be gestión. Okay, manejo okay. o gestión. Management. management. Professor, you fail. Ya, ready? Yeah, ready? Veamos quién tiene los micrófonos encendidos ahorita. Let me see here. Ya lo puedo. Okay, I think it's off now. All right, uh, so the next one is Tal vez eh, lo que es eh, solo en el momento que participemos, encendamos y luego apagamos el micrófono para que no se den estas clases de interferencias, ¿ok? Only you participate and you turn it off, ¿ok? Solo la participación rápida y lo apagamos el micrófono para que no suceda la, esto de la interferencia, please, ¿ok? Good. So the next one, uh, so I said employees, 
is empleados. Management is gestión o manejo. For example, management of employees. Manejo de empleados. Management of employees. Yes? Now let's see the next one. The next one is financial loss. Financial loss. What is financial loss? Financial loss. Jefe financiero. Sorry? Jefes financieros. Jefe financieros. What is loss? Pérdida financiera. Exactly, exactly. So you say loss is pérdidas. Financial loss, pérdidas financieras. Financial loss. So we have three more words. Employees, empleados. Management, gestión o manejo. And financial loss, pérdidas financiera, so pérdida financiera, yeah? Financial loss. Okay, let's see other words. Let's see other words. Three more words, tres palabras más. The next one is, this is easy. Risk. What is risk? Riesgo. Riesgo. Easy, right? Risk is riesgo. Okay, riesgo. Next. Advertise. Adver Ties. What is advertise? Advertencia. Advertencia. Mm, no, warning is advertencia. Warning. And Anunciar. Advertise. Sorry? Anunciar. Anunciar o promocionar. Anunciar. Hacer publicidad. For example, you can say advertise the company. Hacerle publicidad a la compañía. Advertise. Or you can say promocionar. Advertise. Yeah? No es advertir. Yeah? So don't get confused. Pero promocionar de... de, de... De anuncio, ¿eh? ¿verdad? Entonces. Exactly, promocionar de anuncios, de dar publicidad, de hacer publicidad. Advertise. You can say, for example, um, the teacher advertises the new product. El profesor promociona los nuevos productos, no de vender, right? Sino de promocionar, de dar publicidad. Ok, yeah. So that's advertise. Eso es advertise. And the last one, la última. The last one is social social media what is social media redes sociales. sociales redes sociales social media yes redes, redes so, sociales that's right social media can be redes sociales or media puede ser también medios de comunicación okay media right the media los medios de comunicación en cualquiera en ya yeah? So social media, you can say redes sociales or medios de comunicación, yeah? So we have different vocabulary. We have keep track of, teníamos al principio keep track of, policies, we have no, employees, management, that is manejo, financial loss, pérdida financiera, risk, riesgo, advertise, which is like uh, hacer publicidad en social media, en social media, okay? Yeah. So um, any question about the vocabulary? Alguna pregunta acerca del vocabulario? Any question about the vocabulary? No? No questions? Clear? So this vocabulary is important for this class. Este vocabulario es importante para esta clase. This vocabulary is important for this class. Now, Listen, um, I will make um, I will make breakout rooms, all right, in this moment. But before, I want to show you this here. Look, this is on page 19. It's on page 19. It's on page 19. Listen, you need to think and investigate or put these words where they belong. Vamos a poner estas palabras en la definición correcta. Put the words in the correct definition. Pongan las palabras mm. en la definición correcta. Solo pongan la letra. Only put the letter. For example, if letter A is in number one, you put letter A. Aquí escribimos letter A, la letra A. Okay? And so on. Para eso vamos a ir a breakout rooms y vamos a hacer equipos de tres para que no les cueste y puedan discutir. Okay? So you can discuss. Is, is it clear what you have to do? Está claro qué es lo que van a hacer? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's let's make breakout yes. rooms. Let's make a, let's make breakout rooms. Hagamos breakout rooms entonces. Okay, let me see here. Uh, 
Okay. No. Eh, ¿Debería no ser la C? No. El 2 es creo que es la C, la no sé. Ajá, el 2 es la C. Ajá, ayuda de personas, dice. No. O, o la D. ¿Qué sería? Analista Para financiero. Para mí sería la, la B. La B. La I. ¿La cuál? La la dos. Analista, analista, analista financiero. Ajá. A la B, Ayuda entonces. La, la B. La B, ¿no? la dos, la B. Porque dice, ayuda a las personas en los negocios. Manager de financiero. Ah, sería ayuda el B, ¿verdad? A las personas y a las empresas ah, a gestionar. Sería la B. Sería la B. Y la B. el tres, es no digo que era saber conocer. Dice, conoce las políticas y las regulaciones. No sé qué dice, involve, no, sé qué, no sé qué significa involve. ¿Qué significa, teacher? Oh, yeah. Involve. Y number three. Y number, number three. three. Yeah, number three. Okay, the policies and regulations involve. It's like, um, let me see. Ah, que conoce las políticas y las regulaciones que envuelven el manejo de, de, de los empleados, por ejemplo. Involved ah. in, the, in the management of employees. Ah, pues sería el D. La, la, mm, no. No. la C. La C. Ah, la C, recursos humanos. Va. Sí, la C. Yeah. Ah, sería la C, recursos humanos. Sí, la C, recursos humanos. Ah, luego dice, crea y advierte la compañía. Ah, medio social. Gerente de mercadeo. No, vea. No. Mm. Sí, quizás el, el agente de, de seguros. Agente de seguros, literal. Ajá, estoy, estaba con mi des, o, o, no, porque de mercadeo, no, ¿verdad? O contador. Estoy, ajá, sería agente de seguros, la literal. O keeper. Ok. Uh, Pero tres. también sal, suena que es el con, keeper, ¿no? Ajá, pero ese no sé qué, qué significa. No pero dejémoslo así, como en esa duda. ¿Quién tiene el significado de esa qué? palabra? ¿El significado de esa palabra lo tiene? ¿De cuál ¿Qué palabra? Uh -huh. ¿De qué ¿De palabra? palabra? ¿De la literal? ¿no? Es eh, contador. Contador. Ah, contador. Okay. contador. Uh -huh. Gracias. Vale, veamos la tres. Conocer las políticas y regulaciones en las que se desenvuelve Ah, no, vea. No. Gente se, se, se Reglamentos que intervienen en la, era... la gestión de los empleados. Uh -huh. Conocer bueno, las sí, políticas sí. y reglamentos que intervienen en la gestión de los empleados. Siento que es especialista en recursos humanos. Sí, esa es. Uh -huh. Sí, verdad. Literal C, entonces. Sorry for uh -huh. the interruption. Lo siento por la interrupción. Eh, Hazel. Eh, aquí que es un poquito más privado, solo quiero preguntarte, eh, ¿tú has podido entrar a la plataforma para hacer ¿Sí? las tareas? Sí, es que te pregunto porque en el caso de tus tareas me aparecen como no realizadas de la semana 1. Las realicé hasta hoy. Oh, por eso. Ok, siempre, eh, solo recordar que siempre, siempre tenemos 
Bueno, en este caso les di el sábado hasta mediodía para poder realizarlas. Siempre estén pendientes de terminarlas porque a mí el sábado temprano me exigen un reporte de todo eso que pase lo de las tareas. Así que para que estén más pendientes, ¿ok? Please, por favor. Ya, yeah, it's okay. Continue, 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 please. Sería el número cuatro. Uh -huh. Crear. Eh, Crear y anunciar la empresa en las redes sociales o... o keeper keep track of the financial accounts of companies. Abby, la dos. En la dos era financial analyst. Uh -huh. Crear tipo uh, ¿Cómo se dice? Business. Business, business manager. Manager. Manage de Deyer Deyer Finance Finance uh -huh. y Wendy la tres sí no de police a regulation le faltó el le faltó el puesto ah le faltó ah el la puesto. C ah. Sí. <ríe> human resource specialist sí no de police a regulation, no sé cómo se dice esa. Involved. Involved en demanda y esa. Management. Management. Manager. Y la última. Employees. Employees. Ok. So, did you finish? Yeah. Ok, perfect. So, you can continue pronouncing the words. Continúen pronunciando porque hay algunos equipos que aún están trabajando, ok? So, please, continue okay. practicing. Continúen practicando. Continue practicing, please. Eh. The people and company, I can't finance, I guess I see, I don't know sé cómo se pronuncia. Financial okay. loss and manager rich, algo así. Okay. Los, man, no, cinco, ajá, esa es la palabra que no, 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 no sabía yo la que se escribe manage no sé cómo se, dice. ¿Cómo se pronuncia manager no pero no, number pero three in number three en la número tres número cinco number es five que, es que no sabemos qué fue de companies de cómo se pronuncia esa palabra ah against 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 financial laws and manage risks. <laughs> against. Against mm -hmm. is en contra de. Against. En contra de, okay? Against. En contra de. Exactly. Bien. Gracias, teacher. Okay, no problem. Entonces, este, ¿quién pronuncia la seis, niña? So, did you eh, finish? Lo voy a So sorry, What? did you finish? Terminaron de el ejercicio. Did you finish? Yeah. Sí. Sí, solo estamos pronunciando. Finish. Okay. Continue. Continue. It's okay. Continue. Continue, please. Okay. Bye. Entonces sería la seis, okay. ¿verdad? Okay. Bye. Sí. Hi, teacher. Hello. Did you finish? Yes. Okay. Perfect. You can pronounce the vocabulary if you want. Okay, to take advantage of time. Para tomar ventaja del tiempo, pueden pronunciar el vocabulario. You can pronounce the vocabulary and help each other y ayudarse mutuamente. Help each other. Okay? Okay. okay. Uh, ¿Quién comienza? Eh... El financiero tiene que llevar como el control de las cuentas. Y el help people de business manager. Que la gente va a ayudar a las personas. Uh -huh. de las compañías en sí uh -huh. <laughs> no sé yo pienso que sí va muy bien did you finish or you are still working uh, we have a little confusion uh, confusion. Confusion. Uh, confusion you say confusion yeah, yeah. Confusion. What is, what is with, the, with the first one? Keep track because. of the financial accounts of companies because <laughs> it's correct. Financial um, uh, financial analyst. 
and the insurance agents. It's, it's only one, it's only one, it's only one. <laughs> yes, we know, but we're confused with what is what. Okay, I will give you number one. I will give you number one, okay? Thank you, teacher. Okay. <laughs> so, so look, look, the, the definition is keep track of the financial accounts of companies, right? Eh, sigue la yeah. pista de las cuentas financieras de la compañía. ¿Quién hace eso de las cuentas financieras? Who does that? El financial yeah, analyst is general. El financial analyst is general, okay? It's more general. Mm. No mira como okay. en sí el, la financial accounts. <laughs> Y estaban el insurance agent, el insurance, el insurance agent, agent, sorry, no mira lo de, lo de las financial accounts tampoco. So, ¿cuál sería? Which one do you think is correct? Bookkeeper. Exactly, it's bookkeeper. Financial <laughs> accounts. That's the key phrase. Esa es la frase clave, clave, perdón. Financial accounts, cuentas financieras. ¿Ok? Ok, okay perfecto. Thank you. All right. <laughs> Sorry, there's no time. <laughs> yeah. So we need the number two and number five, Brenda. Number two. Help people in business manage their finance. finance. No queda insure de finance analysis. Mm -hmm. Mira, quiero ver. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The number two, I think, is the letter E. And the number five, I think, is the number B. B. The letter B. Sorry. Va, dejémoslo así. I don't know. De poquito. Bien raro se siente que todos estén callados. Ahí viene el profe. Tiene el micrófono apagado. Sorry, porque cuando salimos de breakout rooms, como que se, 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 se apaga solo. Y por eso que me confundo. I'm really sorry for that. Ok, listen. Uh, so it's time to check your work. I know it's a little confusing, all right? I know it's a little confusing, but don't worry. I will give you the answers in this moment, okay? So in this moment, I will give you the answers for you to check. Quiero que revisen. I want you to, to see. All right. Let's see. I have the, I have it here. All right. Number one. Number one is keep track of the financial accounts of companies. It's letter A, bookkeeper. Okay, letter A, bookkeeper. If it's wrong, correct it. Okay, si lo tienen malo, lo pueden corregir. If, if it's wrong, you can correct it. Number yeah. two, help people and businesses manage their finances. Help people okay. and businesses manage their finances. It's letter A. B. It's letter B, financial analyst. Financial analyst. Yeah, financial analyst. Number three. Know the policies and regulations involved in the management of employees. This is letter C. Letter C. Letter C. Letter C. Human resource specialist. Okay. Human resource specialist. Yeah. Number number four. Number four. Create and advertise the company over the social media. Letter D. Letter D. Letter D. Digital D. marketing manager, digital, digital marketing, marketing manager. Mm -hmm. Exactly. <coughs> Number five, help people and companies against financial loss and manage risks. Letter, letter, e. letter e. 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 Insurance agent. Insurance e. agent. Okay. Insurance e. agent is the pronunciation. And the last one. Number six, design and develop different softwares letter f letter f software engineer this is easy right software 
engineer. All right, so listen to the pronunciation again. Only listen, solo escuchen. Bookkeeper, financial analyst, human resource specialist, digital marketing manager, insurance agent, and software engineer. Okay, thank you very much. Gracias por, por, por compartir y por trabajar juntos. Thank you for working together. And okay, let me let me stop sharing. And right now it's 9:04 already. Son las 9 y 4. So we have two minutes in this moment to do to have to go for coffee, to go to the bathroom. I don't know what you're going to do, all right? So, but let's take two minutes. Tomemos dos minutos y luego regresamos en dos minutos, okay? So go now, please. Let's go. Two minutes. Estamos mal aquí, teacher. Sorry. Estamos mal aquí. Oh my God. I'm sorry. I'm sorry because you couldn't connect. Lo siento porque no pudiste conectarte completamente. Pero estás Toda escuchando. Toda la semana voy a estar así. Ok. Sí, sí. Ahí vi tu, tu mensaje. And it's ok. Lo más importante es que estés escuchando y que estés poniéndote al, al día, ¿verdad? Por supuesto, porque no es porque tú no quieres estar, sino que son razones de trabajo y se entiende, ¿verdad? I totally sí, understand. Yo... Más de medio año, es que solo ahora de día y hasta ahora. Trabajar, ¿sí? Ok, ya está bien, no hay ningún problema, Alejandro. Solo, ya sabes, ir completando las tareas. Siempre, ok. Sí, aquí tengo, aquí tengo el PDF abierto. Ah, ok, sí. y siempre también, en todo caso, si tú quieres practicar después, el video lo, van, lo va quedando ahí en la plataforma también. Antes de la tarea queda el video completo de la sesión. Ok, para que puedas verlo okay. si quieres otra vez completo. Ok, gracias. Ok, perfecto. Yes. Uh, tengo una, una pequeña duda. Adelante, con, Amber, dime. Con, la, con el tema de la tarea del día de hoy en la plataforma, hay dos, dos oraciones al final que ya se probó de varias formas y no encontramos la correcta. Oh, ¿en serio? ¿Será que hay un error de la plataforma? <risas> pues no sé, porque ya probamos... Bueno, no, no he sido el único. Estábamos conversando con la compañera sobre eso también. Igual ellas han probado de varias formas y no se encuentra la forma correcta. Ok, déjenme intentar. Yo no lo he probado, sinceramente. Déjenme intentar y si veo que me tira error a mí, yo se los hago saber y yo lo comunico, ¿ok? Ok, ok, perfecto. Esas dos nos están quedando ahorita ya. Ok, sí, ya, ahorita aquí llevo el, el tiempo en el, en el cronómetro. <ríe> Thank you. Thank you very much. Ok, time is over. Se acabó el tiempo. Time is over. <coughs> time is over. Ok, let's carry on. Vamos a continuar entonces. Let's carry on. And I will pass the attendance <coughs> here. Voy a pasarles asistencia por segunda vez. I will pass the attendance again. All right. So, Ana Abigail. I'm here. Brenda. I'm here. Edgar. I'm here. Ember. I'm here. Hazel Sarai. I'm here. Jacqueline Lisset. I'm here. Jefferson. I'm here, teacher. Jennifer. I'm here, teacher. Jessica Lourdes. Jessica Lourdes. I'm here. Thank you, Juan Carlos. I'm here. Loida Eunice. I'm here. All right, thank you, Luis. Wow, well, Luis Alejandro está conectado. Luis Ricardo. Luis Ricardo, yes. Maria Elena. I'm here. Thank you very much, Nancy Bet. I hear. Okay, thank you, Nelson. I am here. Roxana. I'm here. Okay, thank you. Wendy. I am here. All right, thank you, Natalie. Yesenia. I am here, teacher. 
All right, thank you. And Jocelyn. I'm here. Oh my God, everybody's connected. Todos están conectados. Significa que vamos por buen camino, okay? We are going on the, on the right way. No hay deserciones y eso me hace, me hace sentir alegre. That makes me excited, all right? So um, thank you for joining, for joining this second part. And look, uh, for this, um, oh, solo an, antes de, de ir al contenido, alguien, alguien me preguntaba de las tareas que dicen que al principio cuando empezaron a hacer las, las tareas les aparecía un video corto, ¿verdad? Yes. Y ahora no les aparece un video corto, sino que les aparece toda la sesión. ¿Ya? De esa manera se está haciendo ahorita. Yo lo estuve revisando y también así, así aparece, ¿verdad? Antes aparecía un video cortito, pero ahora aparece toda la sesión del día antes de la tarea. ¿Ok? Ya. Pero igual, este... Normalmente eso es para los que no estuvieron en la sesión. Si alguien no estuvo en la sesión, para que vaya, repase la, la, vea el video de la sesión y luego pueda hacer la tarea. Pero si estuvieron en la sesión, no es necesario que vayan a ver el video otra vez. Claro, si quieren verlo y aprender un poquito más, pueden hacerlo. No hay ningún problema. There's no problem. But it's two hours, right? So, but it depends on you. Pero no es obligación que lo, que lo vean otra vez el video si estuvieron en la clase. You were in the class. Okay? Si no estuvieron, sí. Es bueno que vayan a, a verlo, por yeah. supuesto. It's good for you to, to watch the video. All right, so let's go to this uh, second part. And in this second part, let me show you something here. Uh, in this second part, just let me share a screen here. Oh my God. Let me share a screen. Okay, listen. Uh, on this second part, Okay, look at this chart. Miren ese cuadrito que está acá. This chart is on page 19. Este cuadrito está en la página 19. This chart is on page 19. And this chart has name, job position, and other tasks. I repeat, name, job position, and other tasks. Okay, so this activity is somehow similar. Es algo similar a la actividad que hicimos acerca de su compañía, ok, que escribieron una posición de trabajo y una tarea. But this time you have to be specific. Aquí sí tenemos que ser específicos. We have to be specific. And it doesn't have to be about your company. No tiene que ser necesariamente acerca de su compañía. It can be a friend, a relative, puede ser un amigo, puede ser, ¿qué? Un familiar. Just to give you one example, para darles un ejemplo, just to give you one One example, uh, imagine in the name, yo voy a escribir la información de cuatro personas, right? I say Samuel, just to give you one example. Samuel, okay? He's my friend, right? Job position, business, administrator. I have no space here. Admin is trader, okay? Business administrator, administrador de empresas. Other tasks? ¿Qué hace él? Ah, oh, you can say, um, he um, keeps, pueden usar el vocabulario de, 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 de la parte de arriba, he keeps track uh, of, of uh, financial accounts, for example, financial accounts, all right? It's just to give you one example, solo para darles un ejemplo, ¿ok? Podría decir también, I could say, um, Uh, let me see, María José. I could say María José here. María José. Job position, human resource specialist. Other tasks, hire employees. O contrata empleados, hire employees. Another example, one last example. Un último ejemplo. I could say Sandra, right? Is a friend, es una, es una amiga, Sandra. Software engineer, aquí. Software engineer, okay, software engineer, and other tasks, otras tareas, ah, I can say design software, design, design software, okay, design software, diseña software, yeah, so uh, the idea is that here, the idea is that here, you write names, escriban algunos nombres de familiares, amigos, compañeros de trabajo, la posición de trabajo y alguna tarea que realizan. Any task they do. All right. 
This is on page 19. Esto está en la página 19. Yeah, this is on page 19. So do you have any question? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Do you have any question? No. Do you have any question about the activity? ¿Tiene alguna pregunta acerca de la actividad? Any question? Sí, teacher. Uh, okay. donde dice other state. Other tasks. Y, uh, okay, other tasks. Cuando dice he keeps o she keeps, eh, confundo como qué es lo que realmente de, es lo que él hace en esa compañía. Ah, okay. So, um, in the business, uh, it's only one example, right? I don't know too much about finance. Uh, but what, what I had is Samuel, right? Samuel, uh, oh, es que tenía financial analyst, sorry. Financial analyst. Samuel, financial analyst. And then I can say, um, he helps businesses, for example. He helps businesses, help businesses. Ahí solo les estaba dando un ejemplo más o menos, ¿ok? Solo para que se ubicaran que era lo que iban a, a hacer, ¿ok? Ya, yeah. pero keep track of es seguir la pista de o rastrear, lo que decíamos al principio, keep track of, ¿ok? Jacqueline. Ok, perfect. So, any question? Thank you. All right. Doctor, ¿puede ser una job position? Yes, of course, por supuesto. Teacher, ¿puedes poner el cuadrito otra vez? Porfa, que no tengo las hojitas. Yes, of course, por supuesto. Thank you. Ok.
teacher una consulta a donde yo tuviera que poner, pudiera decir eh, car driver y sería he transfer people. Oh, car driver, you said. Conductor de auto. Car driver. Uh -huh. uh, Por ejemplo, is, ¿verdad? Is like taxi is driver. Is like taxi no. driver. No. No. Or is an Uber driver? No. Okay. Es conductor de. No sé cómo decirle. No, it's okay. Car driver. Motorista. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Maybe you can say, um, take people, take, like tomar, take people to different places. Me repite, por Take. Take. Ajá, take. T-A-K-E. Uh -huh. People. Take people. To other places, a otros lugares. A to other places. To The other, other place. Ajá, to. To other places. To, ok. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you. Okay. Okay, I'll give you one more minute. Le voy a dar un minuto más. You have one minute, okay? You have one more minute. Okay, please stop. Okay, let's stop. Okay, dejemos, dejemos de hacerlo. Yeah, let's stop now. Let's stop. All right, listen. Uh, so uh, now or right now, you, you, right? You, you will go and share your sentences or you will go and share the information of your friends, relatives, or colleagues, ok, so how, como van a ir a compartir la información so you share information of the people you have on the chart, van a compartir la información de las personas que escribieron en su cuadrito, ¿Qué estructura van a usar, what structure imagine I have here on my, on my information I have, um, let me see Marisol, I have Marisol Marisol here so I say yo diré, I will say, her name is Marisol, her, her name is Marisol, yo position, ok, she is a digital marketing manager, other tasks, she advertises the company, ok, now I have Maria Jose, I say, her name is Maria Jose. She is a human resource specialist. She hires employees. Yes? Now we'll say Sandra. Her name is Sandra. She is a software engineer. 
she checks softwares and she designs softwares. Yes, esa es la estructura que van a seguir para compartir la información de las personas que tienen. Imagínense que tienen un chico, van a decir his, his name is Samuel. He is a financial analyst and he helps the company. He helps the company, for example, yeah? So this is the structure you will use. Es la estructura que van a usar. So please, we will go to breakout rooms and take turns sharing the information. Vamos a ir a breakout rooms. Tomen turnos para compartir la información que tienen. And the rest, listen, please, okay? Y los demás, escuchen. Y los, and the rest, listen. The rest of the group, please, listen, all right? So please, let's go to breakout rooms and share the information y compartan la información que tiene. This is speaking, okay? Aquí vamos a hacer speaking o hablado. Okay, so let's go to breakout rooms then. Sí, siete. cuatro. Siete creo que somos. Siete. Bueno, siete. Siete. Siete, siete somos. Siete. Sí. Bien. ¿Quién empieza? Sí. ¿Quién empieza con la primera? Nadie. Sí. Okay. Yo sé, empieza usted. Sí, me ya. ¿Quién empieza? Primer ejemplo. Ahí está. Voy a empezar yo. Vale, perfecto. Yo sé. <ríe> Hola, bueno. Eh, es masculino, así que sería. Eh, his name is Alejandro. Eh, he is eh, Daisy, creo que así se dice. He. Graphic de Signal. Pues sí. Más o menos. Dancer, no sé. ¿Cómo? Dancer. No, pero a mí como. Diseñador, diseñador gráfico. Ah. Uh -huh. uh -huh. It's graphic designer. Graphic designer. He is a graphic designer. Ok. Ay. Thank you. Yeah. Eh, ¿Quién sigue? Voy a decir yo el mío, tal vez me sale correcto. <risa> Bien, eh, me is Cindy. Eh, she is psicóloga. Psicologist. She is psicologist. Eh, he is why a man. Uh, Mental health, algo así. Por ejemplo. Ahí donde aprendemos cómo manejar nuestro cuerpo. Bien, ¿qué sigue ahora? Yo. Eh, her name is Mara. She is a lawyer. She solves legal problems. Bien, ¿quién más, chicos? ¿Quién más sigue? Vaya, yo diría, his name is Roberto. He is a doctor. And he fills prescriptions. Just, uh, just to make it more complete, Juan Carlos, uh, here we, we, we better say uh, fill out. Porque cuando se trata de llenar formularios, usamos fill out. 
Okay, so you can say he fills Fill out, out prescriptions. Uh -huh, fills out. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's, it's about forms. Cuando se trata de formularios, decimos fill out. Fill out forms, for example. Mm -hmm. En este caso, que es eh, tercera persona, tengo que poner los fills eh, con la S. Yes. Out. We will study that in a moment. Ya vamos a ver eso más adelante. Uh -huh. Pero sí hay que ponerle S. You put S. Okay. Yeah. ¿Quién sigue? Abigail. Yeah. Yeah. Her name is Melvin. Uh, how position supervisor y ahí sería her o she 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 y she truck driver y her name is Carlita She is supervisor. She mother family. Finish. Good, good, Natalie. Perfect. Jefferson, no sé si quieres seguir tú. No sé si me van a entender porque hay bastante bulla. No sé si me escuchan bien. Sí, ahora le escuchamos bien. Good. Ok. Eh, Her name, uh, her name is Lucia. She is Corky and uh, is full Selenway. Uh, sería el otro. Cuando, cuando se es un varón, ¿cómo se pronuncia? Alguien que me ayude ahí. His. 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 Ok, gracias. His name is Jonathan. Uh, her is Supervision uh, and is solid manager. Um, he is Salvador. He is her in Schenger and is food dispenser. Solo tres he hecho. Este, ese orden es un poco difícil. Así es, ajá, ese, ajá, en esa zona no sabía cómo, porque la otra que puse, por ejemplo, es, es, her name is Stephanie, she is a nurse, her, ah, y después puse, he take a care of people. He take care he take, of people. He take care know. of people, mm -hmm. Y de ahí se las tres. Me faltó una más, okay. pero no sé. He or she, Jacqueline. Hola. Jacqueline, he or she. Sorry for the interruption. He or she. She. ¿En, en cuál? ¿En la segunda o en la... En ¿Cuál de todas? En la que acaba de leer. En la última. En la última es she. Okay. Pero como empezaba como her name is sure. Stephanie. Uh -huh. Y después era she. Uh -huh. Teacher. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's okay. It's, um, it's, uh, sorry, Loida. Yeah. It's okay then. It's okay, Jacqueline. Está bien entonces. Pensé que era un chico, but it's a girl. It's okay. It's okay. Bien. All right. Yes, Loida. Estamos con el. He is a um, sales cars. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, es que yo le, lo que pasa es que yo le había puesto ¿verdad? en una, his name is Juan Carlos. Y de ahí yo le puse, he is Silas Person. Yeah. En, y después le puse, okay. his credit card salad. Pero no sé si yo creo que me hace falta algo. Es como el da tarjetas de crédito o algo así. No, no sé cómo hacer. No, you only say he gives. Or he, he gives, provides. Uh, he uh, gives okay. credit cards. He gives credit cards. Credit cards. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Excellent. Apa esa pregunta. Okay. Vaya, voy yo, ¿por qué no? Para ver y me corrige, ¿verdad? Is his name is Juan José. He is bookkeeper, and he keep accounting. 
the other. Josue, no, her, his name is Josue. No, he is a business administrator and he manages the company. And the other is, his name is Juan, he's a doctor, and he attended patients. And the last one is, his name is Cesar, and he systems engineers, and he develops digital programs. Okay, Maria, Elena. Hello. Um, my first, uh, his name is Edgar. He is bookkeeper. He keeps track of the financial account of ONG. Um, other, her, yeah. Her name is Nuria. She is a cashier. Uh, she records souls of on the computer. He is Javier. No, his name is Javier. He is owner. I, he runs your company. Uh, the ultima. She, no, her name is Rosa. She is saleswoman. She is customer server. Excellent. Solamente esta ultimita que dijo, she is, y es solo she, customer service. Customer server. Mm. ¿Verdad, teacher, que así es o no? Uh, here, what, uh, what, Siempre what, es. No, you, here, because the problem is that customer service is not a job position, right? So you better say, she works in customer service. Ella trabaja. She works in customer service. Ella trabaja en servicio al cliente. She works in customer service. Okay, Maria Elena? And uh, the pronunciation okay. of cajero o cajera, Maria Elena, is cashier. 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 Mm -hmm. Yeah, only that. Cachir. ¿Quién se apunta ahora? Luis o Edgar o Roxana. Hola. Ok. El primero es... His name is Isaac. Uh, he is a covering assistant. And... He keep the company's accounting. Uh, the second person is her name is Sonia. He's manager, a manager. Uh, she covers all the production processes. Uh, her name is Katia. Uh, she's psychologist. She helped people she. in their life. She helped people in their life. And the last one, mm, his name is Ignacio. He is a gardener. He takes care of the plants. Excellent. Okay. Roxana o Edgar o Nancy, ¿quién se anima? Voy a dar a la siguiente. Her name is Priscila. She is, eh, no sé cómo se pronuncia, diseñador, diseñadora, designer, no sé cómo se pronuncia. Designer. 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 Y ahora costurera es seamstress, no sé cómo se llama. Seamstress. ¿Cómo? Seamstress. Seamstress. Entonces, her name is Priscila. She is 
the designer. Designer, designer. Designer, designer. designer. <laughs> she seems It's a seamstress. Mm -hmm. Ajá, sí me quedó. La siguiente. ¿Está bien? Ok. Ustedes se fijan sí. más en la pronunciación mía que otra cosa. No, no es, que, es que estuvo súper bien ahora lo del verbo, porque cabal, sí, ajá, súper. A sí. ver, Roxana o Edgar, ¿quién se apunta? Simtrans, ¿cómo es? Simtrans. Listener, listener. ¿Cómo se llama? Simtrans. Designer. Designer. Yo. Ok. Este, she is working customer service. Um, she made logistics um, service delivery for technical. Se entendió. Repite, porfis. <risa> um, she is Jacqueline García. She, she works in customer service. She makes a logistic service for technical. Ok. Te, te voy a corregir que al principio es como estás hablando de su nombre es. Entonces tienes que decir, ajá, acaba, excelente. Ah, yo porque como la tengo acá, es she is Jacqueline. Ah, ok. okay. <ríe> Oye, pero, no soy, pero no soy yo. <ríe> <ríe> just, just one observation, Roxana, uh, can you say the last, the last sentence? ¿Puedes decir la última oración? Please. She made, to, she made to logistic for technical. Delivery, o ah, sea, okay. yeah. eh, organiza eh, logística de servicio a domicilio. Ya, yeah, el delivery, es que no lo había escuchado, el delivery. Uh -huh. Ok, ya, yeah, it's okay. Ok. Yo. Okay. Okay. Uh, her name is Raquel. She is import. She is unit cost. Allow the teacher. Did you finish? Finish. Did you finish? Okay, perfect. That's very good. It's excellent. Okay, so you had the chance to listen to your classmates, right? Talking about their, their friends, relatives, or colleagues, all right? So the, the idea, remember, the idea of these activities is to practice, to practice pronunciation, speaking, listening right so that's the idea of these of these activities all right and that you speak of course que se vayan hablando vayan desenvolviéndose poco a poco a poco little by little all right and the most important is that you have like time to correct your classmates no necesariamente yo corrigiéndolo verdad sino que tienen la oportunidad de corregirse entre ustedes so and that that's okay eso es trabajo en equipo Y es aprendizaje colaborativo, es collaborative learning, and that's perfect. Eso está, eso es perfecto. I really like that. A mí realmente me gusta eso. I really like that. Okay, I guess everybody is back. Creo que todos están de regreso. I guess everybody is back. So thank you for your, for your participations. And now listen, uh, the topic for the, 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 in this part of the class, we have the simple present tense, all right? And the question is, what is the simple present tense or what is important in the simple present tense? Any idea? Do you know something about the simple present? Saben algo acerca del presente simple? El do y el das. Ah, okay, do, do and does. El ING es para otro tiempo, no es para el simple present. Okay. Yeah. Ahorita el do y el does. What else? ¿Qué más es importante en el presente simple? What else? 
do does yeah um, we it use the simple present. oh okay let's yes, see jacqueline doctor. first jacqueline first primero jacqueline and then juan carlos i think jacqueline espero no equivocarme es the past y the present yes y creo que también the future uh -huh. i know yeah, the future no we have three tenses but today we will yes. study the present ahora estudiaremos el presente simple the simple present okay so the question is simple present. What is important in the simple present? What is important in the simple present, Juan Carlos? Eh, agregarle la, la S cuando se trata de tercera persona. Yes, that's very important. Okay, thank you very much. So anybody else? Alguien más? How do we make negative sentences? ¿Cómo hacemos oraciones negativas? How do we make negative sentences? Por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir, no quiero ir a trabajar. How, how do I say? Yes? I, don't. I don't. I don't. I don't go to the work. I don't want to go to work. Okay, I don't. So ese don't, I don't ese don't hace el negativo. I don't en presente simple, in simple present. Okay, good. That's it. Now let me share something with you. Le voy a compartir pantalla. I will share screen. Okay, on this... Um, on this slide, I have something about the simple present. Okay, let me show you. Look, I have affirmative statements or affirmative sentences, oraciones negativas, affirmative statements. And I have, first, you need one verb. Obviously, we need one verb. Obviamente, necesitamos un verbo. Aquí tenemos keep. In example number one, we have keep. In example number two, we have know, que es saber o conocer, como dijimos, right, as we said. In number three, advertise. Advertise is, eh, dijimos, eh, dar publicidad, hacer publicidad. And in number four, we have help, ayudar, help, ayudar, okay? So listen, uh, this time we will study only four pronouns. Esta vez solo estudiaremos cuatro pronombres. I... You, we, and they. Remember, el you puede ser sustituido. So I can say, you and Maria. For example, you and Maria know the policies and regulations. You and Maria. I can say that. Puedo decir eso. We. Podría decir fácilmente, Juan Carlos and I advertise the company. Juan Carlos y yo, nosotros. Juan Carlos and I advertise the company. So I can substitute. Puedo sustituir este we. They que significa ellos o ellas, también puedo sustituirlo. Podría decir Juan Carlos en María, right? Juan Carlos en María help companies against financial loss. También puedo sustituir el day. I can substitute day, all right? So, remember, if this is very, very basic. Look, something important here is the structure. Algo importante es la estructura. ¿Cuál es la estructura que sigue una oración en presente simple? Sigue el subject, el sujeto, uh, subject, sorry, el subject, sigue el verbo, verb, and finally, y al final tenemos el, el complement. So, I can say here, for example, we keep the verb, track, y luego lo que sigue, ¿verdad? We keep track of the fin of financial laws. So, primero el sujeto, el subject, the verb and the complement. Y el complemento. Esa es una estructura básica de una oración en presente simple, in simple present. Okay? Yeah? So, um, now listen. Um, here, let me share screens again. Okay, so this is affirmative. Este es afirmativo. I, you, we, they. What about negative? ¿Qué hay del negativo? Ah, listen, I put don't. Le voy a poner el don't. I don't keep. You don't know. We don't advertise. They don't help. And I have the negative statements, okay? Y aquí tengo los, las, perdón, oraciones negativas. I don't keep track of the financial account. Yo no sigo o yo no sigo la pista de las cuentas financieras. You don't know the policies and regulations. Tú no sabes, right? It's negative. 
We don't advertise. Nosotros no damos publicidad. O no hacemos publicidad. We don't advertise the company. And finally, they don't help companies against financial loss. They don't help. Ellos no ayudan. So this don't means no in Spanish. Este don't significa no en español. Now, these are statements in positive and negative in simple present. Okay? Estos, estas son oraciones positivas y negativas en el presente simple. Now, do you have any question about the simple present? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta acerca del presente simple? Do you have any question about the simple present? Normalmente, así en general, el presente simple se usa para actividades que hago repetidamente. Rutinas, routines, ¿ya? Yeah? It's normally for routines, es normalmente para rutinas. So, do you have any question about that? ¿Tienen alguna pregunta? Do you have any question? No, no questions? Okay, perfect. Now, please. Um, since you have no questions, I have questions. Como ustedes no Yo tienen sí tengo preguntas. una pregunta. Ah, okay, go ahead, adelante. Uh, diga algo en español que, que usaría yo el, simple, el presente simple. Perdón, sorry, can you repeat? O sea, el, el presente simple, o sea, si son cosas que hago cotidianamente, que yo me baño todos los días. Yeah, it's a routine, es una rutina. I take a shower every day. O algo que hacen como una rutina en el trabajo, por ejemplo. ¿Qué hace como una rutina en tu trabajo? Mm, ay, nunca hago una rutina en mi trabajo. Bueno, pero sí entrevisto padres de familia. Ah, ok. Oh, so you say, I interview parents. Yo entrevisto the new padres. parents. Ajá, uh -huh. I interview parents. The new parents. I interview parents. Mm -hmm. Ok. Or maybe you can say, I check papers. Yo reviso documentos. I check papers. Es algo que I puede... supervise the work of teachers. Yes, that's it. I supervise the teacher's work. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's it. That's a routine. Esa es como una rutina o algo que hago eh, frecuentemente. Something I do frequently, okay? So any other question? Okay, so if you have no questions, let's do the last activity. For this activity, you need to organize some vocabulary to make sentences in simple present, okay? So let me show you the, 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 the vocabulary. Let me show you the vocabulary hmm, here, okay. So listen, uh, on page 20, you have some vocabulary. En la página 20, ejercicio 5, tienen algunas, tienen cuatro oraciones que están desorganizadas. So you need to organize the words to make the correct sentences. Vamos a organizar las palabras para hacer las oraciones correctas, ok? Yeah? All right. So please, let's work. Trabajemos ahora. Se los dejo acá, así proyectado o, o lo tienen ahí a la mano ustedes. Así déjalo, teacher. Ah, ok, perfect. I will leave it like that. Así lo dejaré entonces. I will leave it like that. Remember the structure I gave you. Recuerden la estructura que les di. Remember the structure and the verbs y los verbos and the verbs.
Okay, one more minute, un minuto más, one more minute. Ok, let's see what you have quickly. Veamos que tienen rápidamente. Let's see what you have quickly. All right, let's see number, uh, number one. All right, let's see uh, who hasn't participated today in public. Let me see Roxana. Roxana, can you share number one, please? Number one, Roxana, please. And let's listen. Ok. Ok. They keep it track of companies or finalist account. All right. Fina financial accounts. Mm -hmm. Okay, so Finance. financial accounts. It's okay. So what do you think? Is it okay? So let's see. Um, let's see. Ember. Ember, do you think it's okay? La, la tienes lo mismo? Do you have the same? No. Yes. Can, you, can you say it, please? Puedes decirla como la tienes, Ember? Can you say it as you have it? Okay. Um, they keep track of financial account of companies they keep track of financial accounts of companies yeah it's okay it's perfect okay so that's the right way ahí tenemos la forma correcta correcta sorry they keep track of financial accounts of companies all right thank you ember thank you roxana thank you very much now let's see number two okay let's see um let me see who hasn't participated Let's see. Okay, let's see. Jessica wants to participate. Okay, Jessica, go ahead. Okay. We don't advertise the company of internet. It's perfect. It's very good. So the correct sentence is, we don't advertise the company on internet. All right. Thank you, Jessica. Thank you very much. That's correct. Let's see number, um, number three. Let's listen to Juan Carlos with number three. I take the notes in the meeting every day. Excellent, that's very good, excellent. I take notes in the meetings every day. That's very good. I take notes in the meetings every day. All right, so do you take notes in the meeting? Toman notas ustedes, do you take notes in the meetings? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, all right, perfect, perfect, that's pretty good. Okay, let's see number four, the last one, la última, number four. Uh, let's see, Nelson. Four. Okay. Carlos and Mauri as where phone has the reception. Answer phone at the reception. Carlos and Mauricio answer phone at the reception. Okay. Okay, that's right. There's a little mistake. Ahí hay un pequeño error. Maybe you can say, Carlos and Mauricio answer the phone. Sería ahí de la THE. Answer the phone at the reception. Okay. So I repeat. Answer the phone. Uh, the phone at the reception. Ahí the falta phone. la THE. Uh -huh. Pero okay. eso no lo iba a la oración, ¿verdad? No, es, es que el problema es que no está ahí, no se lo da, la, la, no se lo da ahí en las palabras, pero sí lo lleva, ¿ok? Ah, yeah. uh -huh. okay. Eso es lo que estoy diciendo, que hay un error. There's a mistake. Sería entonces. Okay. Uh -huh. Carlos and Mauricio okay, okay. answer the phone at the reception is the correct sentence. Okay. So, um, yeah. Okay. Thank you very much for joining. Thank you very much. It's 10 3 already. Son las 10 y 3 y también hay, debemos dejar un espacio para la 
eh, para, para la, la sesión privada. Just, um, yes, just don't forget to do the homework tonight. No olviden hacer la tarea. Don't forget the homework, ok? Y bueno, quiero aprovechar este espacio unos segundos para felicitarlos a todos, porque todos hicieron una tarea y todos tienen 100%. Ok, so that's perfect. Eso es perfecto. That's perfect. That's a good sign, ok? Es una buena señal. That's a good sign. Yes. Eh, sobre la consulta que le hice de la tarea del día de hoy, no sé si logró verificar. Eh, Perdón, sobre la consulta. De la tarea en la plataforma del día de hoy, las últimas dos oh. preguntas. No, no he revisado todavía como he estado con ustedes, pero voy a revisar al terminar y yo les, yo les digo mañana a ver cómo, cómo está el detalle con ese ejercicio. Ok. Ok, gracias. Ok, so thank you very much for joining. Gracias por unirse. And me siento, I feel really excited because I have 20 participants and I started with 20 participants. Empezamos con 20 participantes y seguimos con 20 participantes, ¿ok? So that's perfect. I feel happy for that. Me siento muy feliz por eso. I feel happy for that, ¿ok? So thank you for joining the class. Just give me a moment. I have some, yeah, I had a problem. So thank you for joining the class. Gracias por unirse a la clase. Thank you for joining the class. And, yes, Jessica. Oh, the attendance. Sorry, ¿ok? Just let me check quickly. Solo voy a revisar rápidamente. Thank you. Oh my God. I, I have forgotten. All right. Solo voy a revisar rápidamente. Ana Abigail. Brenda. Solo me así para que avancemos. I'm here. Okay. Um, Edgar. Hazel. I'm here. Ember. I'm here. Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Okay, good. Jefferson? I'm here. Jennifer? I'm here. Jessica? I'm here. Juan Carlos? I'm here. Loida Eunice? Loida? Okay, thank you. Luis Alejandro? I'm here. I'm here. Luis Ricardo? Maria Elena? I'm here. I'm here. Yeah. Nancy Yvette? Yes, she's here. Nelson. Yes, Nelson is here. Yeah. Roxana. I'm here. Yeah. Wendy. I am here. Yesenia. I am here. Okay. And Jocelyn. I'm here. Okay. Thank you very much for joining. Gracias por unirse. Thank you for joining. And don't forget the homework. Que no se les olvide la tarea. And see you tomorrow. Okay. Le veo mañana. See you tomorrow. Okay. Todos se, todos se pueden salir ahorita, excepto la persona. Todos se pueden salir, excepto la persona que tiene la sesión privada. Ok. So, goodbye. 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 Bye bye. Good night. Bye. 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 Okay, Edgar, <laughs> it's your turn. Es su turno, Edgar, it's your turn. Okay, uh, so we have some minutes. Tenemos algunos minutos. We have some, some minutes. Okay, so uh, maybe these sessions are to, to clarify any doubt. Estas sesiones son normalmente para aclarar alguna duda, algo que no comprendiste, algún tema gramatical, algo de vocabulario, o algo de tu interés en inglés. So you can ask, okay, tú puedes preguntar. So this space is for you. Este espacio es para ti, para que preguntes, hagas consultas, ¿ok? Ok, eh, bueno, le soy honesto, prácticamente sí entiendo, pero lo que me gusta es la, la pronunciación. Ok. Entonces, por ejemplo, sí le he entendido como las estructuras de las oraciones, pero en lo que sí, en lo que sí me está costando bastante es el, la pronunciación. Uh -huh. Por ¿Tienes? ejemplo, yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. Eh, lo que veíamos ahora eh, de, las, de las posiciones, uh, lo de A, bueno, A, B, C, D, E y F. Uh -huh. Entonces, por ejemplo, el, el 
El primero era Book Book Keeper. Book Keeper. Book si, gustas, si gustas los proyectos para que podamos pronunciarlos, ahora sí no va a haber interferencia porque solo estás tú nada más. ¿Ok? <risa> sí, vaya. Ok, perfecto. Vaya. Ok, let me share. Déjame compartir. Let me share with you. Ya puedes ver la pantalla. Can you see the screen? Yes. Ok, déjame moverme acá. Ok, can you see the words? ¿Se miran las palabras? Can you see the words? Yes. Ok, if you want, listen. Ok, la voy a pronunciar unas cuantas veces y solo escucha y ponga atención a la pronunciación. Pay attention to pronunciation, ok? All right. Okay. Bookkeeper. Bookkeeper. Financial analyst. Financial analyst. Human resource specialist. Human resource specialist. Digital Marketing Manager. Digital Marketing Manager. Insurance Agent. Insurance Agent. Software Engineer. Software Engineer. Now let's pronounce together. Pronunciamos algunas veces juntos. Bookkeeper. 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 Financial analyst. Financial. Okay, let's let's repeat only this one. Financial. 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 Analyst. Analyst. Financial analyst. Financial analyst. Human resource specialist. Human resource, 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 specialist, special, specialist. Yeah, human resource specialist. Human resource, resource specialist. Specialist. Yeah, human resource specialist. Human resource, resource specialist. specialist. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Okay, let's do it. Let's do it again. Bookkeeper. 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 Financial analyst. Financial analyst. Financial analyst. Financial analyst. Human resource specialist. Human resource specialist. Digital. Digital. Marketing. Marketing manager, manager, digital, digital marketing, marketing manager, Man digital marketing manager, digital marketing manager, insurance, insurance, uh -huh. insurance, 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 insurance. Agent. 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 Insurance agent. Insurance agent. 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 Very good. Software. Software. Engineer. Engineer. Software engineer. Software engineer. Bookkeeper. Bookkeeper. Financial analyst. Financial analyst, human resource specialist, human resource specialist, digital marketing manager, digital marketing manager, insurance agent, Ins insurance engineer. agent, 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 software engineer, software engineer. Ajá, say them again, dilas tú solo. <laughs> bookkeeper, bookkeeper, fin, final analyst, financial, financial analyst, human resource specialist, digital marketing manager. Insured Engine Software Engineer 
Ya, en estas dos. Es en esta y en esta palabra. En estas dos te confundís. Let's repeat. Financial. 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 Insurance. 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 Agent. Agent. Ok, perfect. Muy bien. Ok, very good. Muy bien. Otra cosa? Any other thing? Ahí solo que tú um, sigas practicando, ok? Sí, sí, sí. Ok. Bueno, creo que eso, más que todo, las pronunciaciones de las frases son. Ok. Bien... Ajá. Ajá. Esto, financial. <laughs> Financial. Ajá, uh -huh. ok, perfecto. So, ¿Alguna otra palabra? ¿Any other word? Um, creo que no. Ah, ok, perfecto. ¿Y alguna otra cosa, eh, Edgar? ¿Any other thing? Eh, ah, la de la de la, ¿cómo se llama? del simple present Ajá. de la cómo se llama de la afirmación el no sé si se pronuncia no la segunda ah el negativo eh, sí Ajá. Es se don't, pronuncia don't, don't don't I don't keep I don't know like I don't know don't Don't. I don't know. Uh, you don't know. We don't advertise. They don't help. I don't keep. Mm -hmm. Don't. Don't. Se pronuncia don't. Don't. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't know. Don't know. Don't keep. Don't. Sí. Esa. Okay. Eso el... mm -hmm. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Perfecto. Sí. Creo que ahí. Okay. Ahí estamos. All right, thank you for staying. Gracias por quedarte entonces a la sesión privada y cualquier otra cosa no dudes en, en preguntar a través de WhatsApp. Si tienen dudas, yo con gusto te ayudo y hago el tiempo, ¿ok? Ok. Ok, Gracias. so thank you. Thank you very much for connecting. Thank you. Uh, thank you. Ok, good night. Good night. All right, goodbye. Bye-bye.